Oh boy, everybody. Guess what it's time for? It's time for another installment of... Flashing the map. Oh, flashing it. Okay, that's enough. We're, it's time for another episode of the level 99 challenge. Buggy's broken. So I was just going to shake his head. We're going to have to go into the Cosmo Canyon. We're going to go and see if they'll fix it for us. I'm home. Is I Nanaki? Hey, Nanaki. Nanaki? Let's say Nanaki. You're safe. Come on and say hello to Bugenhagen. Nanaki? Nanaki? Just stare at the fire. What's Barrett have to say about all this? Finally made it. So this is Cosmo Canyon. Let me just see if I can't sneak in here. Look at that shadow. It's a pretty neat shadow. Welcome to Cosmo Canyon. Are you familiar with this land? If you say yes, then he gets real mad. Let's see it. You lied. There's something that is not t treated lightly here in Cosmo Canyon. Well... <laughs> I can't leave. But I can... Uh, fit myself inside Barrett's craw. You know, I think this is a perfectly fine episode now. I don't think we need anything else, but we'll keep going. Barrett, I'm not trying to talk to you right now. Barrett, please. Am I am I stuck? Is this actually happening right now? Oh, there we go. Welcome to Cosmo Canyon. Are you familiar with this land? You lied. That is something that is not treated lightly here in Cosmo Canyon. Ooh. Welcome to Cosmo Canyon. <laughs> uh, let me explain. People from all over the world gather here to seek study of planet life. We also uh, have this thing about lying. Woo! I always wanted to come here. Gah! I'm sorry, it's full now, so I can't let you enter. <laughs> Barrett, what was that pose? Uh, they helped me when I was on the road, and when I was locked up inside a tube. Uh, please let them in. Oh, is that so? You helped our Nanaki. Please come in. Nanaki is Nanaki. That's his name. Alright, the Joker. Here's where I was. I mean, this is my hometown. My tribe were protectors of those who appreciate this beautiful canyon and the planet. My brave mother fought and died here, uh, but my cowardly father left here. Uh, I'm the last of my race. Yes, my father was a wastrel. I'm going to look up the exact definition of a wastrel or wastrel. It's a mission I inherited from my ancestors to protect this place, which are ends here. Hey, Nanaki, you're home. Come in, Grandpa. Oh, I need, I need a new, I need a, a Bugenhagen voice. Good time. Let's take a breather. What do you mean, good timing? I got stuff I want to find out, too. I'm still looking up Wastrel. Let's see. Uh, it is a wasteful or good-for-nothing person, or a waif. A neglected child. 
tasty cocktails, pub starlet, fluffy beds in Shildra Inn. Come in today. It's right near Cosmo Candle. Bloop, bloop, bloop. I don't think I don't think I pressed anything, but okay. So, I want to make sure I get the Barrett date. There's this guy who studied planetary life here. He couldn't take things the way they were, so he went to Midgard to form Avalanche. Want to hear more? Okay. Guess you could say this is where Avalanche was born. I always wanted to come here. Finally, I made it. A lot's happened. So, I want to make sure I get the Barrett date. To do that, I can keep doing that over and over again to bump up Barrett's score. Now, it might get kind of boring watching me do this over and over again, but if I put in the transition right, then you won't even notice anything has changed. It worked, right? I actually didn't bump the score too much, so we're, we're, we're counting on the fact that things have gone okay up to this point. If not, I'm sorry that I've let you down. I'll probably just make a new save at this point, and if it didn't work, I'll run through it again. Make sure I get the Barrett date. Play it from there. Cause that's how devoted I am to this enterprise. Do I go up here yet? I don't know. Why is there a mail? Uh, never mind. Can I go in here? No? Okay. Um, I would like some of whatever is in that bottle, please. Please? 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 Pretty please? Just sort of floating there, huh? Okay. Cloud, this is my grandfather, Bugen. He is incredible. He knows everything. Hoo, hoo, hoo. I hear that you looked after Nanaki. Nanaki is still a child, you see. Please, stop, grandfather. I'm 48. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Nanaki's tribe has incredible longevity. So you see, his 48 years would only be equivalent to, say, that of a 15 or 16 year old in human reckoning. He's quiet and very deep. You thought he was an adult? Grandfather, I want to be an adult. I want to grow up to be able to protect you and the village. Hoo hoo hoo! No, Nanaki, you can't stand on your own yet. To do that now would destroy you in the long run. Reaching up into the heavens, threatening to snatch the very stars from the great city of Midgar. You've seen it, haven't you? Well, that's a bad example. Looking up too much makes you lose perspective. What are you talking about? <sighs> well, it's time for the planet to die. You'll understand that you know absolutely nothing. Hoo hoo hoo. It may be tomorrow or a hundred years from now, but it's not long off. I hear the cries of the planet. Aren't you afraid of knocking over your bottles that you have on the table there, sir? Just asking. Ooh, the sounds of the stars in the heavens. While this goes on, planets are born and die. That was a scream from the planet. 
Didn't you hear it? As if to say, I hurt, I suffer. They've come here on a journey to save the planet. Why don't you show them your apparatus? Eyebrow waggle. Woo hoo hoo To save the planet? Woo hoo hoo! Well then again, I guess it wouldn't hurt to show. Ugenhagen! Oh, little kid. <clears throat> uh, several lo odd looking people are here. The whole place has gotten busy all of a sudden. He brought friends too. I'll go get them. And walk real slow. Cub, please call one of them. Only three people can fit in Grandfather's machine. <clears throat> uh, I, I guess... I guess they're not counting the Flash. Does he go up? I thought he did. I don't know. I'm so confused. I think this is a good, a good break point for an episode break. Keep it a little shorter this week. Once I hit that save point, that save point, it's gonna be time for a break. Racing on down by the Tiger Lily Arm Shop. Alright, thanks for watching everyone. And remember, if an old man offers to show you his apparatus. I don't know what to tell you.